welcome back to my channel my name is christine and this is, is just christine today i'm going to be planning for the week of october 18 to the 24th and i'm going to be planning on my aura estelle a5 white cloud in lilac daydream i'm going to be using this kit from miss and meow called autumn days i actually posted this on my instagram asking you guys um which kit you'd rather i plan with um whether this one or this one so the majority of you actually voted for this one so i'll just plan with this um this kit so here are the full boxes the um, headers date covers, icons, the um, half boxes, quarter boxes, square boxes, and the uh, scallop circles. The bottom washi, Monday through Sunday box, habit trackers, and some layering pieces. Since this kit is in gold foil, I've also decided to pull out some of my gold decos from different shops i have it from simply beautiful plants the pretty pink co um sadie stickers honey inked the uh, rose colored days christine's paper studio uh, more of sadie stickers and bloom paper studio yeah um i'm also going to use this washi um, I haven't fully decided if I'm going to use it, but yeah, this might also be used for this kit only because it goes very well with that sweater down there. So yeah, I don't know if you guys can see it very well actually there. So it's just this really nice kind of like pumpkin-ish color with gold foil as well and it's from Simply Gilded. Um, I'm, I don't know. I might also be using some, what do you call those? Overlay from Rose Colored Days, also in gold. I don't have it with me right now, but if anything, I might be pulling that into the uh, spread as well. Yeah, so if you guys are interested in this, please stay tuned. Okay, so for this week, I've decided to actually use the um, overlay tapes or bougie boxes, whichever you guys are more familiar with. Um, I don't know, I'm feeling extra today, so I might as well go ahead with it. And I'm going to be laying down the full boxes in the middle of the uh, the planner. Sorry, I'm just looking for the headers. Okay. So, for this week, I didn't really do much. Um, it was quite busy because one of my co-workers were, was off the whole week this week. She was, um, sick. Not COVID related, thank God, but she was, she did have a cold. You know, it's cold season, so a lot of people are starting to get a little bit under the weather. So, like I said before and my other plan with me if one of us is away um other people's jobs tend to kind of fall on me so i end up being a little bit busier than usual if that happens so yeah this was a pretty busy day oh that's weird Something's happening with my stuff. Okay, hold on. Okay, um, so I got it, my underlays to work. It was so weird because 
the the bottom of the thing i don't know like well you know when you unroll it it's like technically one on top of the other the one at the bottom just peeled away so i'm not really sure what happened there that never really happened to me before and i'm hoping i am good for the last for these ones anyways yeah, so I was pretty busy this week. I didn't really get to do um, a lot of things around the house since I practically worked most, um, most of the days and a little bit longer than usual in terms of my hours. Um, I also decided to use this header from Simply Gilded as well, and it's in gold foil. I don't know, I've been trying to use a lot of my, what do you call that, like, stuff from my stash because I don't, I need to use them. I'm getting a lot of items and i feel like i'm just trying i'm getting like i'm using the same things over and over again and the things that i do have in my stuff <laughs> is piling up i don't know if i'm making sense guys but <laughs> i hope you guys get what i mean I just came from work and then after work um I went to a dinner party for my little cousin so we just came home and it's been a quite a long day for me but I just really want to film something because I want to post um something for tomorrow um right now it's Saturday December 4 and it's like roughly 10 15 in the evening um it doesn't seem that late but considering i've been up since seven o'clock this morning i'm pretty much beat at least tomorrow is um a day off and i don't have work so that is a plus and I don't have to worry about waking up early. Well, I still kind of try to wake up a bit earlier so that I can take out the dogs. But other than that, usually I go back to bed or, you know, just be lazy. Um, probably use this header instead of the pink one only because this already has bows and I don't want it to look the same. So this is currently not the updated version of the Miss and Meow kit. She actually released a new um, updated kit during her Black Friday sale and I did buy, I didn't really buy a lot from her sale this time around because um as i said before i do kind of want to use a few different um kits from different stores i want a variety rather than you know going with what i know um i did buy a printable kit so this is a sneak peek so here's one of the printable kit, and this is from Paper Crown Planner. She had a 50% off during her Black Friday sale. So all the kits were like $2, like $2. So I couldn't help myself. I just decided to grab, I think, I don't know if I got two or just that one kit. But yeah, I was just... I don't know, printable kits are just so much cheaper and it's so much easier to um, to 
to deal with. You don't have to worry about waiting. You don't have to worry about, you know, your mail getting lost or stuck or, yeah, you just basically buy it, print it at home, and pretty much have it ready anytime you want. Uh, the one thing that obviously the downfall is you don't, it's not foiled since I don't really have a laser printer and I'm not really planning on getting a laser printer. Um, yeah, the kits that you, I do end up buying are not, are not foiled. So yeah, so that's the one downfall of that. Um, but yeah, I'm getting sidetracked. Um, yeah, so this week was a very, very busy week. Um, what else did I do this week? Oh, this is actually the week my work decided to put up the their Halloween decorations. So I, I'm fairly new to my work and I kid you not, they had this like six foot like Frankenstein statue that nobody warned me about. And so when I got to the office, like I open usually on Monday morning and I usually close Tuesday night. So on Tuesday night, the Frankenstein wasn't there. And obviously, like, you know, when I came in on the Wednesday morning, I was literally half asleep and I was still pretty tired from yesterday. And then when I come in, I, you know, like I put on, like, you know, I turn off the alarm system. And then I, when I turn, the statue was right there. So like I screamed my head out. <laughs> Like, I was, I was like frightened. And I, I was telling all my coworkers, I'm like, I could have had a heart attack. And you guys would have all like been sad about it. But apparently no one knew that it was up. So what happens is like, um, the owner just tells, the people who who works there like in the evening to put up what needs to be put up and then they put it up so no one really knew except the owners and the people who put it up that the statue was there and yeah so it was it was a very very terrifying moment for me and I was like, I, I was half like out the door and it, it was, it was really funny when I think about it, but that moment I was like literally terrified of like being killed by this like six foot guy. And mind you, I'm pretty short. I'm like five two. So this guy literally has like the the size to like take me down um so i have to put something there for the month and i'm not sure what to do yes yeah, so i was telling my co-workers that you know i i was ready to like run away and like not come back and it took a while for for it to kind of click in my head that it was a statue. So <laughs> I was like, oh my god, I was like gonna pass out. And yeah, it wasn't a fun ordeal for me. But I'm I'm happy I'm not the only one who got scared. At the same time, it's like yeah it, it wasn't a fun thing um maybe maybe next next year if they put it up again i'll take a picture of it and then post it on my 
on my IG and then you guys can see how huge and scary this guy is. Oh, the good thing is there was candies on the um the plate that he was holding, so that was a good thing. So, I was able to eat some chocolates for that day. Um traumatized, but you know, on a plus note, I was able to eat chocolate. <laughs> but that is my story for this week. Um, I need the habit trackers. So I usually use the this week header. And yeah, when I bought this kit, I was really in love with all the colors. Like, the colors are so vibrant and so nice and pretty. And yeah, it screams fall, but at the same time, it's not like your typical muted colors. And that girl, like her hair is like goals. Look at her hair. I'm not 100% sure who her artist is or who the artist was for this kit. You know, I'm I'm really bad because I never really know who's the artist of the kits that I'm using, which is um sad cuz a lot of them are like very similar. But yeah. I don't know, for some weird reason, this side thing is really crooked. There. That's nice. Okay. So I'm not sure which one I want to use here at the bottom. I'll probably use this. Okay. There you go. Now there's just that little piece down there and I'll just grab a header and put it down there. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> And moving on to next week. Yeah, so besides that fact that I almost died with the statue, um, nothing really else happened. On the weekend, I did get my dog groomed. So I have two dogs. I don't know if I mentioned that to you guys before. So one of them is a Shiba Inu, so he doesn't really need a lot of grooming in terms of like cutting and stuff like that. He does not need that. But we do kind of take him to the to the groomers for the de-shedding because I kid you not, like he is full of hair. He has an undercoat, so he's kind of like a husky. Um, he's not as big as a husky, so definitely does not need... Um, doesn't shed as much as a husky, but he still kind of gets big floofs of um, hair when the winter months or like the weather is starting to change. Um, the other dog that we have is a um, Pomsky. So she's basically a Pomeranian Husky mix, more on the Pomeranian than the Husky. But her hair is like a weird mixture of like, of Husky hair and Palm hair. Cause like if you guys notice, like Husky hair is not super soft and the Pomeranian, Pomeranian hair is not as, you know, um, floofy as well i mean like they're floofy but like they're not like like cotton soft like yeah but this 
little dog that we have, she's like a ball of fluff. But yeah. So she doesn't shed as much as our big dog. But she does, her hair does get long. So she needs more of like the cutting and the grooming. And she doesn't like anybody to touch her feet. So it's really hard for me to cut her toes. And we don't even want to try, to be honest. Like she's so tiny. And she's so feisty. And yeah <laughs> we're just not gonna go near her her nails so we just take them to the groomers and they say that they're they do very well with them but i don't know if they're just being nice or or what um so shebas are actually very notorious for being a diva when it comes to grooming i don't know if you guys have watched like if you guys go on YouTube and you watch like Shiba Inu's being groomed, you're gonna see like hellfire, like literally, like dogs screaming, crying, and like just being a big, you know, baby. But apparently our Shiba doesn't do that. So yeah, they said that he's really, really good. And he doesn't give them any troubles at all. And to be honest, when I do give him a bath, when he does get like, you know, get kind of dirty in between his grooming, um, he doesn't give me a hard time. He just actually like sits there and just kind of like lets me brush his hair. Not brush his hair. Um, like shower him? like soap him <laughs> i don't yeah I, I don't even know i am running out of words guys um yeah shampoo him so he just lets me shampoo him the one thing that he does hate is um well he doesn't really hate it he just doesn't like being brushed all the time and then he just kind of tries to like keep all his floof so he just like tries to catch them but yeah that's <laughs> that's our Shiba for you okay so there is that double box which is I'm going to use on Friday and Saturday um this is the one Saturday where I am working so I'm not really going to put that much on that Friday anyways so I do work one Friday, sorry, two Fridays and one Saturday a month. So usually the first Saturday of when we're working, that is my Saturday. And the last Friday is um, the Friday that I work. So that is actually works better for me because like i'd rather get over the friday the weekend and like just be done with it for the whole entire month and not have to worry about it but yeah there you go so like i was saying uh yeah um we took our dog to the groomers and yeah and they did fairly well. There was no complaints or anything. They did amazingly good, they said. And yeah. Um, I don't really know if I have a picture of my dogs on my IG. But if you guys do want to see them, let me know. Maybe I'll post something. And yeah. But... I love my dogs. They're very, they're very um, cuddly, I would say. The big dog more than the small dog, which, um, which is usually how it is. I don't know. Is it? Like, my dog is so 
it's not that he's clingy. The, the big dog is not clingy. It's just he likes, like, when you're sitting down, he likes to be petted all the time. Like, he will not let up until you start petting him. But he doesn't let anybody just pet him. It's usually the people that he likes or people that he knows. Um, but yeah. Let me know if you guys have dogs. And then let me know, like, how they are. If they're, like, one of those dogs that likes to be petted or... Or what? Um, yeah, so that was basically my whole entire week. It was pretty busy. And at the same time, nothing much happened. Which is, you know, really common for my life. <laughs> it's like busy, but not really which is weird okay oh i was i kind of ask you guys i don't know if this thing bothers you but like if you guys see you guys can see my ring light right there i don't know if that bothers you guys if it does let me know because i really want to find something to kind of cover my desk um it's kind of getting banged up as well it's getting scratched up so maybe i wanted to put some kind of like mat or cloth or what but yeah let me know if it is bothering you at least i could do something about it but if not then i might still cover it up but maybe later than you know that if it is bothering you guys okay So I'm just going to put down the date covers and then the remaining underlays here at the bottom. I think that is very crooked, so I'm just going to fix that one too. And I don't really know what else to talk about. Um, I don't really want to talk about Christmas because I kind of want to do that closer to when I'm planning with my Christmas kids. Oh, I'm also thinking, so basically there's only like three weeks left in 2021. So I'm thinking of kind of like posting three videos a week, maybe if I could, because I really, really want to get like the um like all my videos out before the new year i hate planning like past year in the new year i don't know if you guys understood what i meant like i hate planning um 2021 stuff during 2022 so i'm thinking of posting three videos and hopefully be caught up by before january um i am off on from the 24th to the 28th so i'm hoping that i would be able to to post more videos especially closer to the end of the year um, but yeah, I, I really, really want to get all my videos out before, before, you know, 2021. Oh, sorry, before 2022. So I'm, I'm really, really highly debating about posting three videos, um, a week only for, you know, for the remaining of December. So that way I can get... All the things that I want to, um, all the things I have planned for this year out. Like you get what I mean, right? I hope I'm making sense. Um, but yeah, so I'm I'm hoping that is something that I could do, and yeah, but we'll see. Anyways, this is how the spread turned out. Like I said, it's very very cute. 
I love Missy Meow and her kids. Like, it's definitely just one of my favorite um, shops. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Thank you. Bye, guys.